So I have done just a lot of being alone um, when I get off of work, just spending a lot of time by myself, which is pretty normal because that's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. But um, I've been reading some amazing books. I will post them right here and right there. Um, and just talk to y'all a little bit about what it's changed for me. Not that I feel like every day I am changing. And for some, they're just like, Jenna, like, what are you talking about? You weren't like this last week. But why do I have to be the same person as I was last week, last night, 15 minutes ago? I don't want to be stagnant in my mental growth, my physical growth, none of it. I want to live life to the act like I was going to say to the actual fullest. I just want to live life. I want to make sure that I'm doing the best that I can and leaving footprints and, and all those things, blueprints, whatever you want to call them, gold little knowledge nuggets. I want to leave those for people um, when I go up to heaven to spend eternity. I wanted to kind of cut off this video really quick. I wasn't able to talk about the books much in this vlog, but do read out of both books throughout the vlog. So pay attention with my father. Um, so I have really noticed on my minimalist journey, I am being more intentional with purchases, with conversations, with whom I let in my bubble. Um, all of it with my attitude, with how I perceive others. Now, don't get me wrong, you guys. I am still, I struggle, okay? Especially at my job, but we're not going to go into that because there are so many things that I love about my job, but it's just about the, the atmosphere. But anyways, please check out these books. Atomic Habit, Habits is amazing. Things that matter. Oh my God goodness opening that book and reading the first paragraph i was in it to win it but this is just a day in the life it's actually a couple weeks all combined into a day of the life if you really want to know the truth i'm just going to keep it real with you i will never fake it to make it that's just not what i do um but i really hope y'all enjoyed this ver uh, this I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to please like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me. See y'all on the next one. Every time I want to make a video, I don't have my eyebrows on. Let's just do it. There's so much to be done. Let me show you. That is a mess up there. Like, what is all that stuff? Underneath here, I want to declutter and make this my cat cabinets. And let's move on to... It's just me who lives here. Why do I have all this silverware? Let's fix it. You can have the power to change your beliefs about yourself. Your identity is not set in stone. You have a choice in every moment. You can choose the identity you want to reinforce today with the habits you choose today. And this brings us to the deeper purpose of this book and the real reason habit matters. Building better habits isn't about littering your day with life hacks. It's not about flossing one tooth each night or taking a cold shower each morning or wearing the same outfit each day. It's not about achieving external measures of success like earning more money, losing weight, or reducing stress. Habits can help you achieve all of these things, but fundamentally, they are not about having something. They are about becoming someone. 
ultimately, your habits matter because they help you become the type of person you wish to be. They are the channel through which you develop your deepest beliefs about yourself. Quite literally, you become your habits. How'd you get up here? Hi. Let's look on top of my fridge. I define minimalism as the intentional promotion of the things we most value by removing anything that distracts us from them. It isn't negative, it's positive. It isn't primarily about decluttering or organizing, it's about creating freedom. Because when we own fewer possessions, we liberate precious energy, time, and focus that we can direct toward more meaningful pursuits. Often we hear about the regrets of the dying, and we are warned to avoid making their mistakes. But rarely are we offered the alternative. Rarely are we provided with an example of a man or woman who faces death with few regrets. When we do, we are wise to follow their example and make the adjustments that will prepare us to face our own mortality with courage and confidence. My grandfather is such a person for me. One of the most important things Grandpa did for me was teach me to spend my time on things that met the needs of others. Certainly, there's nothing wrong with spending time enjoying a sunset, getting together for coffee with a friend, or painting a watercolor just because you want to. In fact, I promote minimalism in part so that people have the margin to relax and appreciate the little moments of joy or beauty in life. But our self-focused pursuits don't need to and shouldn't exclude others' focused pursuits. In the end, pursuits that help others are the most influential, the most enduring, and even, I would say, the most rewarding for us. It is harder on the couch. Look at this patience. He's doing it. Oh, good job, buddy.
You were designed to achieve great things. You are unique in your being, your personality, your abilities, and your relationships. And there is no one else on the face of the earth who can live your life and accomplish your good. Please don't forget that.